This is a demonstration of how to manually turn on a computer power supply. This is useful if you have a need to test a power supply but don't have a computer to install it into, or if you have a use for 5 or 12 volt DC voltage for your home or workshop. What to look for is this big connector, this is the motherboard connector. The wires that you want to identify are the power on signal wire and a common wire. The power on signal wire is the green wire. Which is this one right here. What we need to do is make a jumper to go from the green wire over to any of the black wires. They're on both sides so it doesn't really matter which one we jump the power to. To make a jumper I have just a little piece of wire. You don't need to worry about high voltage at this point. This is all low voltage DC. So I'll take my wire strippers just strip both sides of the wire and kind of twist the ends a little bit okay now we'll identify a black wire and just put the wire right into the terminal and the same goes for the green wire and you should hear the fan turn on at this point so now the power supply is up and running you can test it with a digital multimeter on any of the little Molex connectors. See, we have five volts right there. and about 12 volts right there. The pinouts on these small connectors are the blacks, again are the common uh, ground. The yellow is the positive lead for the 12 volts and the red is the positive lead for the 5 volt. To turn off the power supply, you can just take one of the leads out of the main connector. It will still draw power even when the power lead is taken out of the connector. It still draws uh, voltage from the 110 outlet, but there is no DC voltage coming out of the connectors at this point. It's just on a standby.